Hi Gabor, uh, okay, um, what we've got here is I can already see, uh, it looks like your mesh is split. If you look around here, it's nice and you've got some nice straight lines. Around here, you've got a mesh split. Now, if I put this into dynamic subdivs, you can see exactly what happens. It splits it. And that's because these points are not together. So if I go over with the Z modeler tool and I click the point and I move it, you can see that it will actually move. That's because of the brush size. If I bring the brush size down to zero, I come over one of these points. You can see there's a little gap between them. I can open it up. So to get rid of that, I don't know how that's happened. It might have gone off center when you mirrored it or something. So to get rid of that, it's really easy. You can come down under modify topology and because you've got a lot of space between the um, the edges, we can crank the world down here, this world points. We can put it on 100%, okay? And watch what happens when I hit the world points over here. Watch, watch this mesh when I hit this button. Boom, done. Now you can see it's nice and sharp. And if we go into dynamic subdivs, that's your model. So really easy. Um, don't know how that's happened. Maybe um, you shifted some of the points or it was slightly rotated or something when you did your mirror. Um, mirror and weld, uh, not sure, but uh, that's how to fix it.